Adding a site or network to your DNS filter account is easy. DNS filter considers a site to be a physical location. If you intend to simply use DNS filter at the router level, you need to have a site created. This is your network info such as public IP address, name, and physical location. Even if you want to use more advanced features such as our on-site proxy or roaming client, you'll still need a site first so that you can have a place to tie those roaming clients or proxies to. First, of course, start by logging in. Once you're logged in, if you have no sites, you will be automatically taken to the page where you may add one. However, if not, you'll be here at the overview page. From here, let's just click on the deployments tab. From here, you should be able to click add on the right side of the page. And now we're at the site configuration page. So first we're gonna to want to enter a name for the site. So I'm just going to call it demo site. Then we're going to enter the physical address. And then we're gonna to want to just go ahead and, and click save. So now we're going to see us uh, taken to the IP information tab. So here you want to enter either the uh, either enter in the public IP manually, or you can click fill current IP to just have you know the, uh, it, the your own IP if you're at the location be filled in automatically. Uh, please note that if you're using a dynamic IP address, you can also just enter. The, the host name here, so for example, test.dynedns.org, um, or if you have additional or multiple public IPs or host names, you can add more just by clicking the plus icon. Uh, once you're done, just go ahead and click save, and that's it. To actually start filtering at this site, the next step would be to add a policy to it. So if you need help with that, please watch our video on adding and creating policies. Thank you.